So I'm in my old truck, and uh, it's doing this. Shifters, you know, you put it in gear, and it's real loose and jiggly. And uh, it doesn't bother me, but when I'm going down the road, it goes like that, and it bothers Wendy sometimes. It's a few times she rides in my truck. It's a shame because I only have... 433 miles. Well, getting ready to have 434 miles on this truck. So, uh, yeah, 400 miles they about wear out. But the, the fix for it is this Dorman shifter rebuild kit. There's a little bushing in there. Plus, uh, whenever I drive, yeah, that's a spur. And that's a watch. And these have, and also a boat impeller. This is a constant reminder to do proper maintenance because a five dollar part left me high and dry out on the lake once because I didn't do proper maintenance and but I regress uh, three there's a little bit of bushings in there to rebuild and then there's a seal I could smell the gear oil so it tells me that the seal is broke I got to replace seal might as well address everything but uh, first I got to clean this truck out So you want to take the, you might have a different shifter base. This is not a factory. I got this one out of a junkyard. Mine just had this boot to the floor. But anyhow, you might have a different one. But take these four screws out here, here, two back there. And the stubby screwdriver that you always seem to have a shitload of work great for this. Fits right in there. You don't have much room with for a screwdriver because of that. Once you get the screws out, just pull it straight out, and uh, huh? Yeah, that's a little stale. That's probably been down there a couple of years. Yeah, it's horrible. Now I want to take that nut off. Looks like three quarter, five eighths maybe. Try eleven sixteenths. Bingo. I know it's finger tight. Move it out of the way. So what you want to do is take this nut off. Put it on this side and tighten it and it'll pull that bolt this way and you can release it. Why Ford does that? I don't know. Big bunch of A-holes. Yep. Just shifted into fourth gear. We're really going now. pops it right out. See, it's, it's got a flat spot on it. It's got a flat spot on it. And I don't know. It's kind of wedge shaped if you look at it. Fucked up design forward. Now the shifter should just pull pull out. And it does. Yeah, if you all loose that's very bad. Looks like that just pops off. Alright, so it looks like it's held on by three of these Torx heads. 
I hate fucking Torx heads. All right, it's a T25 Torx, three of them. They're not on there very tight. I already broke them loose, but they were just very loosely on there. So we got a washer, spring washer, and another spring washer, and the shifter comes right out like that. Okay, notch to the front, remember that. Let's set it down here. Let's see what else we can fish out of there. And another spring washer. So it looks like the bushing that held it is like long gone. Okay, so I got this bushing here. Looks like it goes down in there. Can't ah. get it past those pins. I guess I could tap those pins out. They don't look like they're worn down any. I think I'm going to try to manhandle this in there. And that I did. Alright. That being said, let's put our shifter back in there. I see that rock solid but let's put our spring washer maybe that should have went in there first we're leaving parts out to the front. There we go. Put that one on top. And that. There we go. And now we're going to do that. They give you new Phillips screws. But you know what? I'm going to put the Torx back in because that's what came out. They're not dogged down tight. Okay. Able to retrieve it. up I can't tell no nope. I think I am right this goes down first there we go now this goes on. Which way? I guess there's only one way for it to go. Slides on. Can bolt back in. There you have it. Boom. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That feels solid. 
Very good. So if your shifter's feeling a little loose and sloppy, uh, try bushing repair. Uh, it's easy to do. Took, took 15 minutes. The hardest part was uh, getting the tools together. If you like to see, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like to see, hit the thumbs down. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm getting that close to being monetized. Every little bit helps. And then I'll be making big money. And I can quit my job and make uh, these wonderful videos full time. Yeah, that'll happen. Got something to say? Leave a comment down below. I love interacting with everybody. And you got uh, some time to kill. Check out this video. Uh, this one down here is one of my favorites too. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe down there or here or somewhere around here. Subscribe down there. Uh, don't forget to check out my uh, podcast. I have a podcast, 10 Minute Off Road Podcast. I'll put a card up for it somewhere. Or maybe I'll put a link to it right here. Forget about that, my favorite video. I'm going to put my podcast video right here. All right, thanks for watching. Nikki G out.